Hi loves, so to get started, you will first need to take down a couple of measurements. So first you need your off the shoulder measurement. Um, mine was about 42 inches, as well as the length of your top measurement. So that is just from your bust down to about your stomach area, and that's how long you want your top to be. And taking those measurements, we are now going to pattern the ruffle first. So the first line you're going to draw is the length of your ruffle. So that's essentially the 42 inches or whatever your off the shoulder measurement was. And then you're just going to mark each side of that line. And then you're going to take the length of your desired ruffle. So this measurement you can completely decide yourself. I decided on an 8 inch long ruffle, but you can make it longer or of course shorter. And then of course you want to go ahead and just close up that rectangle by drawing your off the shoulder measurement line once again and that pattern is essentially done. Um, what you also want to go ahead and do as well is to um, mark from the very middle of the pattern, so the center front of the ruffle pattern. Um, this will help you just better line up your fabric pieces once you start sewing and you have to sort of like match your, your notches together um, between the ruffle as well as the top. So I'm just drawing a line and then marking at the very ends of that pattern piece. Now, moving on to the top pattern, you are just going to draw a line and that measurement is your bust measurement. So um, it's literally just the, the length around like your bust as well as your back, so from the back to the front. Um, and then you are going to draw a second line and this is the length of your top. So whatever length you decide on, again, that's to your discretion. Um, I think for mine I did about maybe um, eight or so inches because I wanted the top to be about the same length as the ruffle and so here I am just closing up that rectangle. And then once again you want to mark the center front of your top. Um, so again, creating those same notches at the top and bottom of your pattern piece, um, just for reference, as well as to help you match up the, the top middle section of your ruffle to the top middle section of your top. So to create the armholes for your top, you're just going to mark in about three inches from the edges. Um, so I zoomed in a little bit more so you guys can see that. So three inches from the edges and then mark down five inches from the top as well. And then using a pencil and your ruler, you are just going to slightly start to curve your ruler, um, tracing around. Um, you're creating like almost like a J so you like so you know how under the arm. Um, it's more of like a U shape, so that's really the shape that we're creating as well as matching up those two notches. So that's something that you can do kind of like freehand, otherwise you can use this like curved ruler that I have here. So as you can see, I'm just going back in and cleaning up that line, but yeah, either way, like whatever you have on hand will totally work. And then you just want to do the same thing for the other side as well. So I did go ahead and make an outfit out of this look. Um, I'm just showing you guys the shorts that I use to create my short pattern. Um, for time purposes in this video, I don't show you how I create the shorts. However, I will link the video that I have um, showing you how to create high-waisted shorts. So ultimately, I just traced the outline of the, the shorts when they were folded over, um, folded in half. And so as you can see, I have like a front sort of short pattern as well as a back short pattern that's created just by tracing around just like on paper. And then um, I also created two facing pieces as well to help close up the inside of the shorts. But again, that will be linked for you guys.
Okay, so once you've cut out your pattern pieces and you do want to add seam allowance um, around the edges of all of your pattern pieces, so I did half an inch all the way around with the exception of the top of the ruffle as well as the top of the actual top, I did three fourths of an inch. Um, and then here you can see I'm laying out those pattern pieces on the fabric as close as possible just to try and save fabric. Okay, so now we are ready to start sewing, you guys. So I am just going to take my front and back top pieces and sew down the side seams. Now we're going to mark along the seam allowance that we added to our armholes so that we can close those up. So as you can see, I'm just taking my ruler and measuring around half an inch since that was the seam allowance that I added to my pattern. So to give you guys a closer look, you can see those lines that I added um, half an inch from the outer edge of my armholes. And then now I am just clipping inside of that half an inch area where my seam allowance is. And you have to clip because this will open up your, um, your underarm so that when you're sewing your seam um, in the U shape, it will be a lot more flexible and you won't run into any problems. Um, and it'll give you a nice, smooth, and even underarm. So here I am just folding under that half inch seam allowance, which is why we drew the line, uh, because the line sort of acts as a guide of where to fold the fabric. So once you have that folded, you are then just going to pin it as well as sew it. So as you guys can see, the armhole is nice and smooth as well as closed up. So we are ready to move on. Now we're just going to finish the hem at the bottom of the top. And we're essentially doing the same thing as the underarm seams. We're just marking um, about half an inch up from the seam allowance and then using that line to fold over as well as pin and sew. And then a quick note for the hem is you do want to leave a small section of the hem open. That's where you're going to insert your elastic. So you're actually going to sew around on the opposite ends of the fabric. I left about two inches open. Um, so you'll see that that becomes our casing for the elastic once that is sewed up. So now you want to take a safety pen as well as some elastic. So for the elastic, you literally just want to wrap it around like your waist or the length of where your top is going to hit and then um, find like a comfortable sort of stretch within that elastic and then you're gonna cut that and insert it into the casing. So as you can see here, um, I'm just inserting that into like the two inch sort of gap that I left open and then using the safety pin just to feed it through. And you're going to do this all the way until you get to the other side of the fabric opening. Once you're done, you're just going to pull both of those ends of the elastic together and then you want to sew them up just to close that band as well as close up the casing of your um, hem for your top. So once that's done, you have a completed bottom portion of your top and now we can move on to the ruffle. 
so we are going to just finish up that seam allowance at the hem, so the bottom of your ruffle. So again, we're going to trace a line half an inch up from the uh, <laughs> bottom edge of the fabric, fold up and sew. And once you have the edges of both pieces finished, you want to sew those two pieces together so that you have one extremely long band of fabric. Okay, so now we're ready to attach the top to the ruffle. So this is the right side of the fabric. So as you guys can see, I'm showing you that this is the outside, so the shell, the right side of the top, and we're going to pin the wrong side of the ruffle. So as you can see, I'm showing you that seam allowance so that you guys know that that is the wrong side of the fabric. So once you have those notches matched up that we drew originally, so the center front notch as well as that center back notch to the ruffle notches, you are just going to pin that all the way around and then sew that, um, sew that seam. So I did 3 fourths of an inch seam allowance just to allow a little extra inch for the casing um, as we will be adding one final piece of elastic. And to close up the top of that ruffle, it is literally just a repeat of what we just did, you guys. You're going to fold under that seam allowance pin all the way around, and then you are going to stitch that casing closed, but leaving a couple of inches open so that you can insert your elastic, weave it through, and then finally close up your casing. And right about now, you should be looking at a finished piece. Oh my God, you guys, like it's done. She's done, we did it. So how cute is that? Oh my God, I absolutely love it. Um, and then I did wanna show you guys what the final F outfit looks like as well. So again, I did make this into a cute little two piece set. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun making this top. This was the first time that I patterned an off the shoulder top. Uh, more or less from scratch but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i hope you definitely try and create this top or this cute little two-piece outfit but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your notifications so you can see when i upload videos and as always beauties i will see you next time <laughs> bye